Welcome to our fascinating exploration of celestial bodies in our universe. In this captivating YouTube video, we'll embark on a journey to discover the planets you can actually walk on. From the fiery landscapes of Venus to the frigid plains of Mars, join us as we delve into the unique characteristics and conditions that make some planets suitable for human exploration. Get ready to step into the shoes of an interplanetary traveler and uncover the mysteries that lie beneath our feet on these distant worlds. So, grab your spacesuit and let's take a walk across the cosmos. Number 1. Walking on Mercury Mercury has a solid surface filled with craters created after meteor impacts. You would see mostly an endless landscape of gray and brown rocks and dust. In Mercury, walking would actually be closer to jumping because the gravity of the planet is only about 3080 of Earth's gravity. Every step you take would propel you a few feet forward, and it would actually be more efficient and safe to hop like a bunny instead of taking regular steps. This is the same technique astronauts use to walk on the moon, where the gravity is very similar to what you would experience on Mercury. From the surface of the planet, you would see the sun about three times as large as how we see it on Earth, and it would be blinding, so don't forget to pack a good pair of sunglasses. The light still wouldn't be the worst of your problems, as you would need a suit to survive the extreme temperatures that go from 800 degrees Fahrenheit during the day to 290 degrees Fahrenheit at night. Then there's the problem of the lack of atmosphere, so you will also need to bring your own oxygen to be able to breathe. Number 2. Walking on Venus Venus is very similar to Earth in terms of size, so walking on this planet would feel very similar to walking here. The surface of Venus has mostly red, orange, and brown tones that go really well with its extremely high temperatures. Venus is the hottest planet in the solar system because the heat is trapped in its dense atmosphere due to a greenhouse effect. The temperatures on the surface can reach 900 degrees Fahrenheit, enough to even melt certain metals, so you would need a spacesuit that could somehow withstand these harsh conditions. As for the landscape, most of Venus is full of desolated plains that would look like they have no end. This is where your base would most likely be located because the rest of the planet is full of giant volcanoes and deep craters. Standing on Venus would also feel like being one kilometer deep, 3,200 feet, in the bottom of the ocean due to the atmospheric pressure, so the spacesuits would also need to be able to account for this. For comparison, the best diving suits we have on Earth can only withstand about two-thirds of that pressure. Number 3. Walking on Mars out of all the planets in the solar system, Mars would be the easiest one to walk on. That's not to say the challenges aren't huge, but there's a reason why we have set our sights on Mars as the first planet to send a manned mission to. Mars is smaller than Earth. This means the gravity your body would experience standing on its surface would be a lot smaller. On Mars, you would weigh about one-third of what you weigh here on Earth. This would mean that just like walking on the Moon or in Mercury, every step you'd take would launch you up and forward quite a bit. Hopping lightly would be a much better way to move around to avoid constant falls. Mars has many valleys, canyons, deserts, craters, and basins. Its surface is full of interesting landscapes. At night, thanks to the planet's thin atmosphere and zero light pollution, you would see an incredibly beautiful sky with thousands of stars that you would see just with the naked eye. So, fellow space enthusiasts, which planet would you love to walk on? Let us know in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more captivating cosmic content. Until next time, keep looking up.